guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing really well just before we get into this video i just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody who's liked and commented on my previous video i really really appreciate it and to everyone that's already subscribed to my channel as well it means so much to me and if you are new here today hello and just to let you know a little bit about me i make weekly videos where i go around and show you new items in different stores and local deals so yeah guys this week's chosen store was ikea one of the main reasons we chose ikea was because our bathroom mirror which we had purchased a couple of years ago has had come down um it was attached to the wall and we came in one evening and it was sitting on our sink it literally went through some of the sink as well um so we decided to go into ikea and repurchase that unfortunately they didn't have the exact same one but they managed to have something ever so slightly smaller but it didn't make a difference so we ended up buying that which you will see to us the end of this video the thing with ikea is you go in there and you spend hours on end i did try to make this quick only because i had a lot of things on my to-do list um but no i tried to record as much as i could for you guys i did feel like this time around they had a lot more reduced items a lot more of like the red tags on things which to be honest with you i from previously when i've been i don't think i've seen that many red tags so i tried to include as many um in this video as i could they had a lot of like sofa deals a lot of chairs on sale and as you know ikea is so good with storage ideas like your wardrobes i actually have i an ikea pax wardrobe in my bedroom and honest to god i could say like we've had it from the very beginning you can customize it to how you want you can even add and takeaway inserts put jewelry bits in there it's just so versatile yeah so as you guys know ikea is great with storage etc they had these tables on for seven pound which was a really good deal you can use them as side tables have your kids sit at them um so yeah just showing you some setups ikea is fantastic at these honestly they really show you how the pieces they sell can be styled in your home can you know you make them look so cozy um this was a kitchen setup just literally everything they and the way they display it, they, it looks so nice and the kind of theme they go for is so versatile in each space it's insane so i also saw this kitchen drainer which was really good as well i thought that would be really handy to have in the sink um yeah just kind of some spice racks um they had this sofa bed on for sale which i thought it was quite good um they had a couple of armchairs further down they had quite a lot of coloring as well like yellow pinks grays greens um which i thought was really good like i said again a lot of these red tags everywhere new lower price so yeah um they had this white armchair on sale as well which was really good how much was that for 350 it was very spacious it i know it probably doesn't seem like that in the video but it was it was quite wide um then you've got some mirrors some black and gold i feel like gold's come in quite a lot this year so that was nice to see um and yeah just some great pieces you you've got these mirrors that a lot of people use on the top of the stairways to just kind of open up the stairway um that was really really nice some people i know use paneling and use the stick on stick ons in between um so yeah you had quite a bit to be honest like i said you can spend hours and hours in ikea um, and find things that you never knew you needed but you want yeah so you've got some storage jars ikea is so good with these i'm pretty sure they're literally a couple of quid each depending on the size you've got these caddies they actually had a lot more further down but this was just kind of showing you how they can be stored how things can be stored um you had this tv unit i'm sure yeah tv bench for 15 pound so if you're looking for just like a cheap cheerful tv bench don't want to spend too much on there um that's definitely a good shout um then yeah another bedroom setup i think this was a little bit random bits and bobs on the shelves but i guess they're just trying to like fill them up somehow um then you've got this glass door cabinet for 40 pound 
um, great for like in your front rooms just to display some ornaments maybe put some books in um, then you have this one so they do have a lot of variety a lot of like these were bookcases so that was 199 um, again some more random bits of storage so this basket was 13 pound um, unfortunately I'm pretty sure it was a big size but I couldn't open it up because they were tied in um but yeah you've got this for 129 pound um again great for you know just bedrooms or using it as a console table maybe um and a lot of times what i've seen online is you can buy bookcases or drawers from ikea and just literally change the handles on them and they won't even look like they're from ikea this bookcase i know is very popular amongst people just using it as like handbag storage or shoe storage and for 35 pound that's an absolute bargain they also had it in this color as well um then they had smaller like cubes that you can stick onto the wall and kind of put ornaments in there style it how you need to these shelves were really good price especially for like a utility area i was actually thinking of going back and purchasing a few of them just to store like comfort you know overflow of stock in the utility area and for five pound that's an absolute bargain to be honest um because it comes with all its screws and everything so it's just kind of plug and play this was really nice um i just thought as a piece to have on maybe your dining table or your kitchen window sill for nine pound um just showing you other bits and bobs you know what i found really really good um so i went on a friday afternoon and it was around about three o'clock and you know how normally you'd go to ikea and there's a lot of rush and you know you kind of just walking through people this wasn't the case today and i really really enjoyed my experience so i would definitely recommend going maybe during the weekday in an afternoon just so you can have a proper look around and actually see things that you might want um this was new i've not seen that before it's like a calf style um yeah some tables two seaters again something quick and easy that you probably maybe if you're renting and you don't want to spend too much on doing up the house or putting expensive bits in there or you're you're about to rent out a property and you don't really want to spend too much money on it that's good or if you're a student you know I think Ikea is a great place for stuff like that. Just even pots and pans, cutlery, your kitchen bits, like, look, £3.50. Um, you can literally fill up your house if you're not looking to spend too much. Like, this was great, actually. I just thought for extra storage, something, again, I'm probably going to go back for as well. Here's the trolleys, the caddies that I was mentioning earlier. These are great for, like, even the bathroom or just put your excess stuff in your pantry um some more kitchens so ikea also does kitchens um there's actually a board that i recorded and i tried to make sure that it was in fo focus for you guys so you could just get more information i've actually got this rack it's so good for when you don't want to put something hot onto your actual worktop it's for six pound and honestly i've had it for years and it still looks brand new some more kitchens i really liked this one this one was more my kind of style um again i would love an island um some more storage some kitchen bits some trays um oh god i do love that wallpaper in the background i wish i was that person my house is very neutral i wish i was that person that could experiment with color but honestly i'm so afraid okay so this is the board that i was talking about so give or take it costs you about three two and a half thousand pound this is the kind of stuff it includes I'm assuming it can probably go a little slightly higher depending on what you choose. I was actually thinking of purchasing this for my bedroom because I have the IKEA Pax wardrobes. It is really hard for me to reach the top shelf, the, the one right at the top. So I thought that would look really nice and I could actually leave it in my room and it just doesn't look horrible. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen this lamp somewhere else and it's, it's giving H&M vibes. Um, so yeah... I'm not too sure about them gold door hangers in the kitchen. That wasn't really given, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, you've got a two-step ladder as well. The one that I just showed you previously, that was a three. Um, some more baskets. They're just so great with these little bits, honestly. Like, 
I wish I could record every single little detail, but honestly, you'd be here for hours on end. So I just tried to show you bits that I thought were quite interesting or bits that I thought were really great price. Um, this was a tissue roll holder, which was interesting. I'm assuming it only works if you've got the pole as well. Again, like I said, stuff like this is so ideal for if you're not wanting to spend much. So this cutlery holder was for £1. And honestly, once it goes in your drawer, you won't even be able to tell that you've paid £1 for it. So good. They had these um, desks on for... I'm not too sure, I just missed the price. Um, which are great for, you know, if you're trying to create an at-home office. Because I know a lot of people are working from home these days. That would be ideal. Loved this bedroom setup um oh god i i just wish ikea packs wardrobes actually looked this neat at home um but yeah really really nice i don't think certain rooms in ikea you would look at and you think they are a bit too busy there's a lot happening uh, but i'm assuming they just want to display everything that they've kind of got to show you how they would style it they had some robes which i've not seen before um a laundry bag basket great price 19 pound and you can close it from the top which is really good because nobody wants to look down your laundry basket do they um yeah some kids bits really really nicely priced um yeah you just get so much inspiration from from going around ikea um so yeah with some more baskets you'll probably see a lot of baskets in in this ikea vlog a lot of storage ideas these scubs and i'm not too sure if i'm saying that right honestly are the best thing ever especially if you've got an ikea packs or if you want like your ottoman bed storage these are so so good and they fit so much in them and they're literally one of the sizes are one pound 75 that's how much um i bought them for um so yeah definitely worth looking into that table was giving h&m vibes um just some bed setups you've got just got random bits and you can probably notice there's not a lot of people this was really nice i know a lot of people are into their wall lighting or mirror lighting just some wardrobes this was for 303 pound which i thought was really good if you didn't know or you haven't been recently i think this is fairly new um so ikea now has like a whole section of like cuddly toys teddies so if you're taking your children with you you best believe you are walking out with one of these guaranteed um so yeah they do have a, quite a wide selection so just some kids stuff kids bed for 69 pound um you've got some bedding you've got quite a lot of variety you've got bunk beds you've got beds with the bunk on top and then a table set up at the bottom not too sure what that was um some kitchens on display they just have so much under one roof and they have such great deals like they have like wooden kitchens um toy ones for like the fraction of the price where you'd pay in a toy store they had um some of these silicone bowls for children to eat from 
so this whole section was basically everything is less than three pound so they've got bits that you probably wouldn't think that you need but then you realize that you do when you see them so they had a pack of two scissors for i think it was three pound two pound one pound fifty for this clear glass which again wasn't too bad i don't think it was real glass though it was more like of like that plastic glass if you know what i mean so yeah everything three pound or less um they had some random food bits in between they had this lint roller for two pound fifty for a pack or two you had the other side where they actually had it on a roll and i think that was 75p um resealable bags these were i think so you've got some of these shoe rack things again how much were these one pound wow yeah exactly if you want to display your shoes in a certain way those are great some cushions for three pound these weren't too bad i did have a good feel of them and they're quite they quite they were quite fluffy um some more baskets for a pound they're really good for like you know bathrooms just to store like i don't know cotton pads this was actually really good so for one pound 75 you got a three-piece bathroom set so you got this soap dispenser you got a toothbrush holder and you also got a tray at the bottom of it that you could uh, uh, obviously is used to hold a soap bar um so yeah for one pound 75 and a great color a very like neutral color um, I really liked these cups. Again, H&M vibes. How much were they? Two pound ninety-five. You've got a milk uh, milk frother for one pound seventy-five. Um, yeah, I really really liked the colour of these mugs, and they were such a good size for the amount. Two pound fifty-five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure H&M is probably going to be about six to eight pound. Um, you had this utensil holders. Um, I actually have one of these. They're really good and hold quite a lot of utensils. You had this pan which was so so cheap i thought um again just like basic things like look your spatulas for 50p um yeah just some more frying pans yeah more price tag storage this is like for your cereal your spaghetti your pastas um really good for stuff like that like just really good stuff to organize your pantry with some more spice jars, some jars to store stuff in. Some more of these jars. These jars were like two pound for one, which I thought was really good. Just to store stuff in. Yeah, just loads of random bits. Just trying to make sure I show you guys everything. So if you are looking to go, you know what's in right now. These lunch bags were really good. I think they were a uh, or two um 75p for these containers but i think you purchase the lid separately so i guess it adds up to about two pound then you've got the mugs again in the off-white kind of gray color again really really nice something you'd find in h&m zara home this was really useful like i thought this would be great for like when you're hosting to make your mocktails in and they were 19 pound um probably would be paying a lot more somewhere else i've not really looked into them to be honest but if that's something that you need definitely look around and see if it's cheaper anywhere else some more setups some cushions like i said a lot of color this time around this vase was definitely from h&m or zara home um probably the fraction of the price how much was it let's see if we can get a price it was in three pound uh ten pound yeah I'm pretty sure i just saw the ten pound um yeah look how empty the store was guys honestly it was the most perfect timing ever i did not think i don't think i've ever been to ikea and saw it this empty and then something i've not seen before so bedspreads i didn't realize ikea did them to be honest with you i am looking for one for myself so i want like a beige cream silk quilted one i've not come across one that doesn't cost me an arm and a leg um something a little bit like this but in like a beige color but that was really nice and i thought they were really reasonably priced but if you're looking for just if you're not looking for silk and you're looking for just a general throw 
honestly they had a lot of colors you've got your balloon your uh, balloon sorry blue greens grays whites that was really nice as well again if they had it in the beige i would have definitely brought that um some simple doormats can't go wrong for four pound fifty uh what else do we have so this is their carpet section and their rugs and mats um again great choice great variety not too bad in pricing some of them either um and they have a lot of different styles so you know one thing about ikea even if you've got like a, a monochrome look going on in your home a neutral a bright or very um pastel vibes you'll get everything you you'll find something that belongs in your home here like this was really nice i really like this not something that i'd have in my home because i just can't style anything with patterns or color but definitely something that i like um so that was kind of the bathroom mirror that we had and that came down so i'm pretty sure that was the exact same one but we have to pick it up from the warehouse on the way out almost um what have we got here yes just some more random bits some more storage you've got some caddies how much are you for three pound again for under sink storage to put all your cleaning products you had some bins here some more baskets um yeah that was a great unit really really good some more honestly the possibilities are endless like if you've got an idea or a vision in mind you best believe ikea is gonna help you make that come to life um yeah so a lot of, a lot of storage so these boxes were for £2.50 they come with the lid as well so a great buy for if you've got a garage and you're trying to just organize everything and put them into boxes these were the stick-on mirrors that I was talking about where a lot of people are putting on creating panels and then filling in the gaps with these like at the top of their staircase or even like on a back wall just to create like some space just to make them look the room or the space look a lot bigger than what it actually is so now we're going down to the floor where there's all lighting i think bathrooms come after this as well so this isn't something that where i took a lot of time in um because it's just so much honestly but if lighting is something that you're after definitely check out ikea as well they have like a very you know diverse range of things as you can see um so yeah this was just vases I think they'll have a flower section coming up soon then you've got candles oh my god so they do one pound candles and they do so many different scents in these and honestly you can't go wrong for a pound like this one smells so good um yeah but they have them in different sizes and yeah for a pound you just can't go wrong And oh my god guys, if I was a gardener, this is something I would have 110% brought. £9 down from £25. That is an insane buy. And it was just so aesthetically pleasing. It's something that would look so cute when you're gardening. Um, okay, so this is downstairs where the warehouse bit is. So this is where your heavier items are going to be, like your wardrobes, your closets, your chest of drawers, um, your chairs and stuff. So you basically take a picture of the number on the tag upstairs when you're viewing everything. And you come down to the warehouse and you pick it out. I really liked these clear chairs for £65. I thought they'd look great with like a dressing table and um, maybe a throw on top or something like that. Some more mirrors for £29, full length ones, can't go wrong. So we were basically going through the aisles trying to find our mirror um, for the bathroom. So we finally found the aisle that we needed. So there's a number at the top of the aisle and you go down it and 
pick out your items. So this is the mirror for £29. And you will see in a minute when my husband's holding it how big it actually is. But honestly, it's such a good size because it just reflects so much light in our bathroom. I will try and add a clip of how it looks on the wall. Um, and yeah, that's my poor husband having to carry it all the way to the till. Um, as you can tell, it, it is absolutely massive. And you can only imagine when you bring it home and you guys know this happens when you see something in store and it's big when you're bringing it home it's gonna be bigger so anyways guys i don't know if i've mentioned already but ikea has a bargain corner so basically this is a place where they have x display pieces or pieces that have slight marks that will go down there for a fraction of the price so honestly if there's anything in particular you're looking at in ikea also remember to check out the bargain corner it's on the left hand side just before you get to the tills and they have so many different bits you'll get find chest of drawers there you'll find even ikea packs wardrobes like i know someone who managed to get the ikea packs from the bargain corner at a fraction of the price like look at this cut loose tray the only things that that's damaged on that is the packaging and it's been reduced these drawers 35 pound that one the gray one had a slight mark on it but the white one was just an x display model but again something that you can touch up if you really wanted to um they had some storage baskets again eight pound you know like looking at it there's nothing wrong with it they had these white ones again three pound for this um they were just ever so slightly dirty but again something that you can just clean up so guys this so guys this dressing table i have the white version to it and i paid full price for it and here it is in the gray for 65 pound honestly again some more drawers you have like rugs you have curtains you have everything so it's definitely worth having a look around So guys, IKEA has a restaurant on Cass, so their restaurant is located on one of their middle floors which they do stuff like fish and chips and more of your hot foods and there's obviously a lot more variety but then they also have a calf just as you're exiting you can also access it when you're entering in but just before the calf they also have this shop where they sell like swedish inspired foods So next we'll be looking at their calf. So the calf does stuff like um, hot dogs, they do like cinnamon buns, muffins, and I think they do like cookies, ice cream they do. Um, they're really known for their cinnamon buns, so we decided to give it a go and oh my god, it did not disappoint. But yeah, that's all from me today. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one next week. Bye!